All right, so I'm gonna walk you guys how to do the new uh, MHD logic release uh, that allows the factory ECU to control a three or four port max solenoid. Uh, so this car in front of me has already got a single turbo conversion. Um, so the way that this works is that you wire it to one of the factory boost solenoid connectors. In this case, uh, the one that he got from Berger uh, Motorsports already has a plug and play connector. Um, and you wire it to the front solenoid, which there's two connectors. The front one's gonna be the longer lead. Um, so this one in this case is plug and play, but really you can use any max solenoid. They're pretty much generic. You can get one on Amazon, um, but obviously you would have to cut the connector here and you know, your generic one's just gonna come with two leads and you wire one of these wires to one of the one each of the factory ones. These have no polarity, so it doesn't matter which one goes to which. Um, you can't really mess that up. And obviously this is kind of connected. And then uh, you do have to repin one of the wires in the ECU. And I'm gonna show you how to do that now. Uh, once you get to this part, I do recommend uh, disconnecting the battery to avoid any potential issues. All right, so to get access to the wires we need first, um, we have to disconnect the connectors on the ECU. The ECU is kind of buckled in, uh, or I guess clipped in with these clips. You just kind of pull on them to give you access. And then these connectors, you just pull this tab here and they slide off. So one on each side, just like that. And then you just remove them both. Just like that. All right, so now you have access to both of them. All right, so once you get here, the pin that you're gonna remove uh, in order for this to work is pin number seven on connector seven. Connector seven is gonna be on the larger of the two sub connectors, and then it's gonna be on the white uh, sub connector in this large connector. So to free this out of here, you take a little pick tool and push on this tab, and then that just slides right out. So now we're gonna look for pin number seven so it's going to be hard to see on camera the numbers just because this is a white connector but uh in each corner it's labeled to you know to tell you which pin it is and in this case seven is going to be on the back the way that we pulled it out and uh 13 pin 13 is on this side pin one is on this side so we count over seven pins one two three four five six seven so it's going to be this white and gray wire so to un release the pin we push on here and we pull back and that releases the pin just like that um, so now we can put this back and the way that this goes back it's got an arrow right here pointing to the left that's the way that that slides in so just slide it right back in and we're done with this one so now we're going to relocate this wire over to connector number two which on this side is going to be the small black connector pin 25 so so you gain access by uh, pushing on those little holes here, one on each side, push there, push here, and then this just slides out. Then same thing, to release this small black subconnector, you push back on this tab, and push on the wires, and then you've got access. So this one's a little bit easier to see the numbers. So we're going to replace pin 25, which if it tells us that this is pin 26, 25 is right next to it, Know that because this is 14 it's counted down so same thing uh, to remove this wire push on the locking tab here and then just pull it out so this wire that you're removing is no longer uh, used for anything so just put a small black uh, piece of electrical tape on this and just let it chill in the ECU box so now we take the wire that we moved from pin 7 and just put it in the spot that uh, we just freed up uh, so a quick note, this, uh, and I can pull it out real quick to show you, pin 25 on the gray one is empty. So if you go to replace the pin and there's no wire there, you've got the wrong one. So you're always going to replace, you're always going to have a wire extra. So if you do get confused and you don't remember it's the black one, you go to replace it and it's already empty, then you're looking at the wrong sub connector. All right. We just put these back with the arrows facing in. Put this all back the way it was and now we're ready to do boost control through mhd thanks for watching uh before i go i did want to answer a couple of questions because naturally everybody always has questions 
this doesn't mean that you can run an off-the-shelf tune with a single turbo. This still requires custom tuning. Um, obviously because this setup is not anywhere close to factory calibration. Um, so yeah, uh, once you have this set up, obviously talk to whoever's tuning your car and uh, you'll be able to get this set up.